everybody welcome back to hardware hackers and today we have a fake Game Boy now I already repaired this ages ago like months before I even started the channel uh, but it wasn't really much of a repair because it's missing the power switch and it still works so all I have to do is just flick it but what's interesting about uh, this uh, Game Boy color GB Boy color by Kong Feng is that it is a Game Boy Color that reads original cartridges, hence Pokemon Gold, but it has a backlit screen. Now, I know what you're thinking. The aspect ratio of the screen is not going to be amazing, but uh, I'm just going to turn the volume down because I don't really want to get copyright strike. But um, if I turn it on, you don't get a Nintendo uh, introduction you get a GB boy and obviously everything now my camera's not really doing it much justice but oop, turned it up but yeah if you can see this that means it's uh, pretty well <laughs> it's working well uh, but yeah al although the camera quality does not do this uh, any justice at all in fact I'm gonna try and reduce the brightness on my things on my light see if that will help at all and um, no luck unfortunately oh if I tilt it a little bit there you go but yeah uh, you can yeah you can see most things the d-pad though as you can see, it's not like Nintendo's at all. It's very crap. Because like, even if I touch it, it goes a bit too forward. I'll go two steps forward if I press once. Or if I'm pressing hard, it'll just face the other way. And there's a bit of a response delay. So obviously not ideal for playing Super Mario or whatever. But start and select, honestly, I think these are a lot better than uh, Nintendo's because they're actually plastic. And yeah, I do like this a lot. Uh, so I got this for cheap and it, it had no sound. So all I had to do was replace the speaker. But I had to do a bit of uh, DIY because I had no speakers available at the time. All I had was SP speakers. So all I did was uh, chop out a little bit for the... For the speaker and i just ended up uh, soldering on a new speaker which was an sp speaker but as you can tell it works i just don't have a power switch you can pick these up on aliexpress for like 30 pounds or like 40 dollars uh, if you live in the us i think uh, but uh, if you do not want to backlight your game boy your color then this is this is the alternative for you however Flash carts were not actually made to function with these because uh, if I get a flash cart like right now, so as you can see, I've got my Easy Flash Junior and I just turn it on. Okay, I get the GB Boy logo, I get the Easy Flash logo, yeah, that's totally fine. However, it will load, and it will load very slowly, and it might get stuck on the screen, it might not. So, my guess is it's getting stuck on micro SD initial OK, so all you have to do is uh, reset it, and hope it works. It will read, but it, uh, it even if I choose... Let's say I choose Final Fantasy Legend, let's say. It will load probably just fine. It will soft reboot, or well, hard reset actually. And yeah, I can start. And it will be backlit, it will be perfect. Uh, hold that down, obviously. Yeah, I'll just skip all that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, right. But then eventually what happens is it will start to flicker and then it will reset itself. 
Uh, this game is also a good like, alternative to Pokemon, actually. It's pretty it's pretty nice. Uh, I haven't played it properly. But, yeah. Uh, things just get weird from here. And then I think uh, after a bit, it will literally just soft reset. I can't tell you when. It's almost instantly. But it, it seems to want to behave itself today. But then eventually it will start... It will just literally start to reset itself and that's why I, I deem this uh, like non-functional for flashcards but flashcards not so good uh, but for originals or reproductions uh, completely fine however uh, repros I'm not really sure about because you never know these have an internal battery inside. I know this is an original because I got it off a friend and then I, uh, the save date was always corrupting so I replaced the battery inside and that is fully functioning now. But um, as for repros go, I don't know whether they drain more battery power so it's always uh, good to look into. I might have to look into that. But yeah, if you guys have original games that you want to play on a backlit screen, this may be your way to go. Uh, if not, then, uh, yeah, you'll have to backlight your screen. However, well, not however, but um, the reason why I have this is because I actually got, I actually saw this on, uh, sorry, minor interruption there. Uh, the reason why I have this is because uh, I, f I literally saw um, Elliot from the Retro Future review one and to be honest, it looks terrible, but I thought it would be a good idea to get one and see for myself. So yeah, I think I won this on a bid for like uh, uh, £12.50 or something like that, which is pretty good because you can get this on AliExpress for like £12, uh, £12 £30. And to say it's only got like a, a minor inconvenient thing wrong with it, I'd say it's pretty good. But... Flash carts, definitely not. I mean, they don't behave very well on it. Um, originals do, but this does not. And uh, please don't try and take these apart because, like, obviously, yeah, there's a sticker there that, that voids your warranty, but um, it doesn't matter uh, because you can repair it anyway. But there are, like, they literally have, uh, you know, the screws on the back of these cartridges, they have them all the way through. Um, I just happened to replace them. Uh, with uh, crosshead screws because like if I need to get into this again uh, It's there which is also what is also interesting is that uh, you also get a Game Boy I think a Game Boy Advance uh, Link cable instead. Uh, I have a Game Boy Advance uh, worm light here actually on One of the Game Boys that I repaired that I'm gonna probably showcase uh, Later on that was a difficult uh, analysis but yeah maybe it will work in this which yeah it does uh, the worm light it fits and yeah it, it does uh, indeed turn on so uh, for that you will need a GBA link cable which to my surprise I didn't actually pick up until now uh, because on a link cable as you can well I don't think you can see but um, as you can see here there's like this little lip sort of thing Original uh, DMG or well not DMG uh, original Game Boy Color or Game Boy Pocket extensions there without that lip and they just look like that but the Game Boy Advance ones they have that sort of lip and and I think that you know the inside sort of thing where it plugs into is like a little bit wider as well on the old ones but uh, yeah uh, there's also like a little lanyard uh, thing I don't know whether that's present on the Game Boy Color or, or pocket I highly doubt it is but it also has the infrared uh, link as well uh, for for a clone copy this is very good uh, they also have I think they have the KF 2000s which are like very 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 good knockoffs of DMGs however they just look terrible I think someone from I think the guy from the retro futures also were doing a video on that recently which is pretty Cool, I can't wait to watch that. 
Uh, but anyway, that's uh, it for today. I thought, you know, I'd showcase something uh, a little bit more on the a little bit more on the knockoff side, which is still pretty cool. Uh, it's still a cheaper alternative to a, a to an IPS mod if you guys don't have any soldering skills. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for checking it out, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.